I'm standing in front of the historical Poughkeepsie Underwear Factory, where inside some great things are going on, all of a part of the Poughkeepsie Open Studio. It's a two-day free event where 50 artists can showcase all various types of works, from exhibits, poetry and literature, to even historical tours. And it's all bringing exposure of the art world to the community of Poughkeepsie and the rest of the Hudson Valley. That's kind of a, an event for artists, you know, building the artist community, relationships with the public, supporting the arts organizations, and most importantly, playing a role in the revitalization of Poughkeepsie. It gives the art community a lot of exposure. It gives everybody a chance to come around and see what all the artists in Poughkeepsie are up to. I just think it's great to really bring back the, the arts to the city and really really brighten up everything. It opens up a new avenue of creativity and friendships and everything. I think it, set, it sheds light on the artists themselves, local artists, and it pretty much draws in people that maybe not art fans, and it makes them art fans. Getting people from all aspects of life and trying to introduce them to art. The Underwear Factory uh, is part of a larger effort across the community to take some of these abandoned buildings and turn them into vibrant community spaces. The goal was to try to get some commercial enterprises in here that were making things. You know, this used to be a factory, we wanted to continue with making things. North River Roasters were a social enterprise coffee roasting company and we've been roasting for a little over a year now and now we have a community gathering place where people can come and get a cup of coffee, get a bagel or a muffin and sit down with their neighbors and be able to to enjoy this. Spark Media Project is a place where students learn how to use the tools of media and technology to amplify their voices. And they learn how to use those things in order to build their own audiences, to make creative messages that can really convey the story that they're trying to tell, and otherwise to make sure that their voices are heard. Today here at the Poughkeepsie Underwear Factory on the third floor, we're participating in open studios by hosting some virtual reality viewing sessions and doing green screen filmmaking demos. The arts in their own personal way can allow you to say things you really couldn't say out loud. And it allows you to express emotions and feelings in ways you don't have to be ashamed of. The paintings that I've really enjoyed the most are ones where I just saw something. I have a gentleman here, a handicapped gentleman, walking down the sidewalk pushing a shopping cart. Those are the, the real scenes are the ones that I really enjoy the most. Um, I love to use my imagination and I love the fact that there's no mistakes in art that you can always like uh, redo it or make it into something that makes your art look even better. We kind of need to take what we have here that is important to our culture in the Hudson Valley and draw people in on the things that they like. We can't exclude people. We kind of need to infuse the people that are in the community and allow them to be a part of things like this. We saw all types of outstanding work today for the Poughkeepsie Open Studio. Here in the city of Poughkeepsie, I'm Christian Romero, HVNN.com.